Hi, I'm Nathan Seidel with SparkFun Electronics, and I've got another exciting project to talk to you about today, SparkFun Edge, powered by TensorFlow. There's a variety of things to talk about with the SparkFun Edge. One of the main things about this is voice recognition. Now, this is a very complex thing powered by TensorFlow Lite with some complex mathematics and various algorithms and things that go way beyond me. The folks at TensorFlow are trying to make the algorithm always better, but what this board can do in a perfect world is detect the word yes. Now, what I'm going to do is demonstrate how the board can identify the word yes, even with all the background noise. You'll see the LED turn on if it detects it. Machine learning takes an incredible amount of math, and the fact that it can be shoehorned onto a Cortex-M4F is pretty impressive. That said, the algorithm is far from perfect, but LED 47, the yellow LED, should illuminate when the board identifies the word yes. Yes. There was two tries. It works pretty well. Let's try it again. Yes. 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 It takes multiple tries, but we can get the board to activate with the word yes. The SparkFun Edge is based on the Apollo 3 from Ambic, which is currently the lowest power microcontroller on the planet. This is a Cortex M4F, meaning it's got built-in floating point hardware acceleration and runs up to 96 megahertz in burst mode. Now, the real power of this thing is the fact that it is six microamps per megahertz. This IC should be able to run at less than 300 microamps at full tilt without any kind of power cycle. Additionally, the Apollo 3 has built-in BLE and nearly one megabyte of flash. SparkFun Edge ships with an accelerometer on board and a camera connector as well. We're working with TensorFlow to help support these features soon. In this demo, we've got a modified SparkFun Edge where we've removed the power-hungry components so we can see just how much current the microcontroller requires. You can see on my multimeter, we're using about 600 microamps and we're going up above a milliamp, but this microcontroller is not sleeping. It's currently calculating the number of prime numbers up to 10,000. For those geeks out there, that's 1,229, but it takes only 600 microamps to do that. In, in the microcontroller world, that's just incredibly low. To give you some perspective, on a, on a coin cell battery, that can run for roughly 500 hours or three weeks at full tilt without any kind of power cycle. Now let's just kind of compare apples to oranges here. This is a 15 to $20 Arduino Uno, and this is a $15 SparkFun Edge board. This runs at up to 96 megahertz. This is 16, so you need roughly six Unos to run as fast as a single SparkFun Edge. SparkFun Edge has a mega flash, meaning you would need 30 Unos to have a similar amount of flash space. And if we go in the other direction, we would need 30 SparkFun Edges running at the same time to equal a single Uno. So here we have a board that is six times more powerful, roughly 1 30th the power consumption and 30 times the flash space. Oh yeah, it's also got BLE built in. It's an amazing board and you hope and I hope you have as much fun with it as I have.